What's up guys? So pagkakaroon, ang, ato, ang ako na sa share sa inyo ha, walk through on the solution of this, is no longer katong concentrated load, which is being subjected to the cable, dili nasad ka to, this time kanina nasad cable that is being subjected by a uniform distributed load. So para dili mo maglibog ani no, ang uniform distributed load lang is this one. Kini siya, uniform iya ang distribution sa loads from left padung sa right. Take note that ang curvature is for the cables length only. Ang iya na ang kuan mo i, ga curve, na for mag curve. But the load is still linear, distributed siya along that. Mura iya magnitude makuha. Now, let's analyze again or examine what's given to us. So we have here, of course, a cable that runs from, let's say, A to B. So A to B. Cable that runs from A to B. And its entire span is 100 feet. So from A to B, it's 100 feet horizontally. And this is our cable. And the loads that is acting on our cable is the 850 pound per foot. So for every foot, we have 850 pound over this entire span. So if we say 850 pound per foot, so since this is 100 foot, and 850 times 100, muna siya yung magnitude of this total. Yan na na to eh, ko ang discuss. And then the sag, meaning the vertical displacement due to this load, when we measure it from point B, ang sag sa atong cable, meaning cable, this one, if we sukod that at point B, Ang atong sag is 20 foot or 20 feet. Right? And for A, kung sukdo na to, that's 40 feet iya ang sag from point A. Alright? And then, we've given with X sub 1 and X sub 1 as distances. So, diri daw nga dapit, 100 minus X sub 1 yang sukod, while here is X sub 1. Now, what are we going to find here? Ang atong sulbon is the tension on the cable. Kay ganahan lang itang makabalo kung pilay pang usog aning a cable AB from this and at this. And also at this, there is a bottom. Pila ilahang forces nga gikerry. So that, nga naman, huwag makabalo taana. So that, natay basis kung mag-design ta o guan para dili mo collapse ang ato ang cable due to loads. Diba? Muna main purpose ana. So on sa on man. First step is, muna mo yung aning cable problems. Yeah. Uniform distributed load. Always choose the reference axis on the lowest point of the cable. Since this is our cable, its lowest point is this point here. So let's name that C. And this is our X axis. And this is our Y axis. Now, on my next step. Now that we have that axis, X and Y, atong buhaton is we need an equation. We need an equation that will um, relate the the change or the function. This one, kaya diba, the height or the um, the height of this cable is a function of x or the how much we go in the x. Magdepende ang value sa y. Kung pila ang atong sa x, ma function ba y is a function of x. So we need the function that would relate x and y, and also this weight of the entire ano, load or the load the entire load to the force here, the horizontal force here. So basically, at the lowest point, ana sila nga, ang force daw here is only the horizontal. So that's tension, we can name that as T sub 0 because this is origin here. So that's point zero zero, diba? That's origin. Point zero zero. Na siya diya nga point. So that equation is this one. Y is equal to the distributed load over 2 times this force here, horizontal, times x squared. As you can see, that is a parabola. And if you wanna know, the in is derived, I have a separated video here. So just watch it later on. So let's proceed. Muna siya itong gabi ton. And then, so warning lang daan, no? or a short notice. Taas kaya, medyo taas ang solution na ni. So bear with me guys, I will explain this step by step. So now that we have that equation, our next step is to use the boundary conditions. What's the name boundary conditions? Atong tanawan at ends. Like at A or at B. So at B, so there in lamanta, at B sa ta. 
So at B since gibulong man po na natong tension diha 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 ta magsugod. So at B unsa may function sa ato ang or what is x na to and what is y? Sulat na to. At B our x is equal to how much? Our x is equal to just this one. So in order for us from the origin to get to B, we need to travel x sub 1 then upward 20 feet mo ni di ba? So muna siya basically. So our x is equal to x sub 1 and then our y is equal to 20 feet. All right? Ano siya? And then kini. Ni travel ta pa ana and then pa ana. All right? Ano siya distance. If we substitute that to this formula, y is 20. So 20 is equal to w. What's w? That's just the distributed load. So this one, 850. So 850 all over 2 times this force. And we don't know that, so we just write it down. t sub o, t sub 0, and then x squared. So what's our x? As we said, x is equal to x sub 1. So x sub 1 squared. So basically, mo siya. Ako ra'y substitute. Muna siya. So that's our first boundary. That's at B. Now how about at point A? Nya na to ni simplify later on. So at point A. Unsa may ato ang x, unsa ato ang y? Remember that x and y are coordinates or is the coordinate of our point A also for B. So at point A, we will travel to the negative of our axis. Awa mo niya to origin. So on the left of that, it should be negative. So our x right there, mo ni siya atong trabilon. So that's negative 100 minus x sub 1. Mo ni siya atong distance. For y, we need to travel 40 feet. So may paana ta? 100 minus x sub 1 and then upward 40 feet. So 40 feet. Again, by using this equation that relates the curvature of our function and the distributed load and the horizontal and so on, we will substitute it again. Our y now is 40. Distributed load is still 850. And then 2 times t sub o, we don't know that. And then our x, our x squared. Ano siya diba? x squared. So negative, sa mga pag simplify na to. We will distribute the negative sign. So, negative 100 plus x sub 1 squared. So, now we have two equations that has a common term, which is t sub o. Diba? As you can see, common na silang dua. So, either we substitute this equation pa the long dere or vice versa. Kini ba? At ay substitute dere. Since we have two equations with two unknowns, obvious po, as you can see ha, x sub 1, x sub 1, and this one. We have two equations with two unknowns, then we should get, in the end, the value of x sub 1 and t sub o. So, we'll do that. First is, let's simplify this one. So, sama na siya. In terms of t sub o, in terms of t sub o, we'll just um, do some algebra stuff right here. And we'll get 21.25 x sub 1 squared. So, ang ibuhat is, Transfer lang ng t sub o diras left side. And then 20 diras right side. So 850 divided by 2, two times 20. Or 850 divided by 40 is this one. Ano natay? T sub o with respect to x sub 1. Here, we will substitute that value. So that's t sub o, di ba? So basically, that's how we solve ano, this t sub o and x sub 1 algebraically. So 40 is equal to 850 and 21.25 x sub 1 squared. And here we have a binomial negative 100 plus x sub 1 squared. If we expand this term right here, I suggest nga inyo na itry, come on, like try. We will get a function which is a parabo parabola, equation of parabola that goes like this x sub 1 squared minus 200 x sub 1 plus 10,000 is equal to 0. So, just correct me if I'm wrong, guys. If nabailo ba na ako ng duha ka signs. But, we should get here x sub 1 is equal to 41 point um, 41.45, I guess. And that's in feet. 
So that's that's the value of our x sub 1. And then, substituting this value to this equation, kay lagi to equations to unknowns, dapat makaget, makaget good ta eh, na value. So t sub o is 21.25 times this value squared is equal to uh, 36,549. Write this clearly. 549.2 pounds. So that's our value of this force right here in the horizontal. And then again, by using this equation, we will plug in what we know. We know t sub o, we know the w, so our function must look like this. y is equal to w, so 850 is equal to 2 times this one, t sub o, t sub 0, that's 549.2. 549 and that's x squared. Right? This mighty function here is what I'm going to use to find the angle. What's the angle? The angle here. Theta. That for every the angle theta. That for the tiny change in the x right here. We have a tiny change in the y as well. Infinitesimally small going to the right and upwards. So that's it. Right? So, what do you think? If we differentiate this function with respect to x, we will get this one. dy dx is equal to derivative of this one with respect to x. So this will just turn out to be 2x, this one, this term. These are constants. So, 850 over 2 times 3, 6, 549.2. And this will just cancel out. Alright, that's our function. dy dx. So, what this, what sa many dy dx? Ano sa many pasabot ani niya? In terms of our drawing. Ba? Atong tanawon. So, this is 3, 6, 549.2. x. Muna itong function dy dx here, as you can see, this one, is actually the tangent of alpha. So, if you say, the tangent of alpha is opposite over hypotenuse. Right? Opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, that dy dx is simply referring to the tangent of alpha. And now, we can get the angle here, which is also the angle here, alpha, and the angle here. Ano na sila, basically. Although, mo change siya dire, it's just um, somewhat negligible. Very small lang yun ang yan change in the angle. So now, balik tas boundary conditions. What will happen to our equation at B? So, ano sa may ato equation at B? Again, at B, x na to. So, na to ah. At B, our x is equal to x sub 1, right? But we have already calculated x sub 1. Ba? x sub 1, here, this is x sub 1, dude, that's x sub 1, and this is t sub o. So, that's 41.45. So, 41.45 is our x sub 1. So, we can now solve for this one. Substituting, so, at a, dy dx, at a, which is equal to 41.45, and that should be we just substitute 850 over 36549.2 and this value 41.45 and so may pasabot anang value again we say that that's dy dx or the tangent of theta alright so tangent of this value is just this value right here 850 over 36549.2 times 41.45 is equal to 0 0.9632 approximately lang din siya guys 77 seven. and then if we take the arc tangent of both sides we'll get theta with at a at b yeah, we know that at b is equal to theta at b is 43.92 degrees now that we're done at point b Bali na sa ta. So, that's at point B, right? So, arin na punta sa 
is why muna siya at point katong ganina. Ano yung napunta sa point A, then later on at point C. So, sa may purpose, ikuha na ito ilang mga anggol. The purpose is so that we can use this relationship. Kini siya, T sub, wait sa, ano lang ha? Muna siya ang T sub, not, this is the W, and this is the tension. So, kung naman may balo kung this anigi ka ni sila, may relationship, narigap ako yung separate video ani, and please, tanawa lang to. So, kanya siya, this is T sub O. So, that's just a right triangle, so, force polygon lang sila, kay nag-equilibrium. We can say that T sub, this O, or the at tension at the origin, the lowest point, is just T sine of this one. T, I mean, T sine theta. Ano lang. And then, with respect to, I mean, this is adjacent, I'm sorry. So, this should be cosine theta. And, what about with respect to this one, W? So, W is just T sine theta. Muna siya sine theta di ay, this one, opposite. And if we divide that, these two terms, we get W over T sub O, or the distributed load over the horizontal component of the force at the lowest point here, that point, uh, that value is just the tangent of theta. So, if we know W, we know the angle, then we can calculate the tension on the cables. That's why we're calculating this angles right here. So now, at point A, at A, our x is equal to, remember our x is this one. This is our A, right? So negative 100 minus x1. And then, a while ago, we said that that's just negative 100 plus x sub 1, distributing the signs. And since x sub 1 is 41.25, then our real value of x is what? Negative, how much is that? So this is 41 point, I'm sorry, this is 41.42. That's the value. So negative 58.58 is the x coordinate of our point A with respect to our origin which is at the lowest point of the cable. Ano siya, di ba? So, ano mang negative? It is because it is just the coordinate. Our, as you can see here, 0, 0. Our origin is at the center. So if we go leftward, then the and it should be negative. So our equation will then be y is equal to again, w over 2 times the t sub o this one, 36549.2 this one, 36549.2 36549.2 again, x squared actually, we've done <laughs> differentiating that muna the end to odd ni atong gamiton but ang ato ra i change is the value of x so again dy dx or the ratio of small change in y over the small change in x small run <clears throat> so that's 850 36549.2 and then our x value is this one negative 58 0.58 So, this is at B, rem uh, at A, remember? That's at A. So, the, the, the answer for this is so our dy dx is equal to So, the answer for this value here is just negative 1.36572 Then if we, since we know that this is just the two are just equal to each other dy dx and Tangent of theta, this one, a while ago, na, the ratio, this one, are just equal. Then, we can say, tangent of alpha, or I mean, theta at A, so theta A at ibulong, of this value, negative 1.36572, we take the arctangent of both sides, we'll get the angle, theta, which is just negative 53.79. So, this is our theta b, theta a. And how about at the lowest point? Do we have an angle at the lowest point? So, let's try. At 0, 0, we know this is our derivative, right? This, right here. At point 0, 
our x is 0 at the origin, right? So we will have uh, dy dx of 0, right? 0 times this value is 0. Therefore, at c, at c, x equals 0, as that's in the origin. Therefore, dy dx is equal to 0. Lagi ka ni, ma 0. Then, tangent of theta z is equal to 0. And now, the arc tangent of 0 is what? The arc tangent of 0 is 1, is the 0. <laughs> this proves that at this point, the lowest point, we have no slope. We have no angle. That's why it's in the lowest point. This is also one of the reasons why we choose our axis to be at the lowest point. So that, na, tungod na naman tayo mga angles, lagi the purpose is, when we have the angles, uh, we have the angles, we can use this relationship here above. Here. So let's rewrite first our angles at each point. So at A, at A, theta A equals, at B, theta B equals, at C, theta C equals, and then let's solve using this relationship. T sub O, or the tension at the origin, is equal to the tension at a specific point times cosine of the angle at the specific point. Let's say at point B, so we will use theta B at T, so tension at B. So T O, so let's start at A. So T O is equal to T A cosine theta A. So a while ago, we calculated T O as 36549.2 pounds here. And that should be equal to T A cosine of the alpha A. So alpha theta A, we've got negative 53.79. Negative 53.79. This will give us the tension at A, which is 6,000, I mean 61,869 pounds. So this is the tension that this cable needs to carry at this point so that it will support this load. Alright, that's the meaning of that. And then for tension at B, we'll just change this one as TO equals TO equals T sub B cosine theta B. So again, this value here is just this one. So that's right there. Tension at B. And then cosine of the angle at B. What's the angle at B? It's 43.92 degrees. 43.92 degrees. And that should give us 50,740.99 pounds. So this is the tension that the cable must carry at point B. Imagine that force. 50,740 pounds of force to support this one. Alright, as you can see, it is also, ano, medyo quite reasonable because this one 20 feet, well this one is 40 feet, so the steeper you get, so the more force you should exert so you can carry this load below, diba? Since here is medyo ubusra compared to this one at 40 feet, then the answer is quite reasonable. Tension at A is 61,000 while at B is 50,000 pounds. Now how about at C? Tension at C is just TC and cos theta C. We know that at C is the angle is just zero, right? Straight up zero. This one, zero. Therefore, cosine of zero is just one, and we've just proven that tension at C is just equal to the horizontal component, which is 36549.2 pound. That's tension at C, and this also proves that at the lowest point, there is indeed only the horizontal component of the force that is present, and there's no vertical. So, I guess that's ra that wraps up all. These are the answers, the tensions at points A, B, and C of our problem here. Check whether we got the right answer here. So, can you see, dili lang na to yung vertical component since at C, horizontal lang mangyud ang naa. 
So, dapat, ang naan na to, dire is the sign of this, or the vertical component of tension at A, and vertical component, tension at B. So, that's, I guess, TB sine theta B. And here is TA sine theta A. When we add that, since that's the only um, supports or forces that go up, this, that goes upward, that should be equal to 850 times 100, the uniform load. So I guess I leave that to you and try to check it. So here's the what you need to plug into your calculator. So use this TA, so 61869 sine of alpha A or theta A is 53.79. And when you add that to this value, 50, 740, 740.99, and then sine, the vertical component of this one, 43.92 is the angle. That should be equal to at least closer to 85,000 pounds because this is the only load, uniform load acting at it. I hope you got something here. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for watching and please support our channel. Subscribe for more. Peace out.